guys, it's Strawberry Hour here and welcome back to another video of my 30 videos in 30 days challenge where I'm uploading a video every single day during the month of June. And in today's video I want to show you everything that's in our vegan pantry and also in our fridge. So I give you a little tour, I'm going to show you what products we're going to buy, share some tips with you and you see all the delicious food we eat. So for up, my boyfriend and I, we eat a high carb vegan diet. He eats predominantly cooked food, cooked starches such as rice, potatoes, he eats a lot of vegetables as well and I eat predominantly raw fruits and vegetables. So that's the bulk from our diet, that's what we buy and that's what we're going to see in our fridge and also in our pantry. So don't be surprised by seeing a lot of veggies. About our groceries, we usually go grocery shopping twice a week to our local fresh market and there is where we buy our, all our fresh fruits and vegetables from. Other than that, we get larger quantities, for example rice or chia seeds. We get from other stores such as Costco and sometimes we buy in Trader Joe's as well, just to give you an idea where we get our groceries from so without further ado I would say let's get started so that's our cupboard I hope it's not too unorganized for you guys but I give you a little show here so that's basically everything we have here. So we start off with the first shelf, which is mostly our condiments and also some rice berry. That's the rice Evan got in Thailand. It has a really nice and nutty flavor and he stores it in one of these containers, which is way easier than the plastic bags. But we also store them just in the bag because we don't have such big containers right now. But other than that, we have in here some PB2 powder. That's the chocolate one. We got that one actually from Whole Foods and it lasts a while. Evan likes to use that in his oatmeal, for example, but you can also use that in smoothies or in banana ice cream. And I like to use the normal pure powdered peanut butter, which is just powdered peanuts. And I like to use it as salad dressings and also in my nice cream. And here's also a chunky salsa which is fat free and he got that from Trader Joe's. He likes to eat that with rice uh, potatoes. So other than that we have <laughs> my little addiction with my bar. So I like these vegan snack bars. I still have one left from London that's a naked bar. We can't get them here in the States so I will save this one. But we can get these La bars. That's actually my favorite flavor. Peanut butter cookie that's so good. I also have this raw bar I got from Whole Foods. It tastes like just a chocolate brownie. And I also have all these That's It fruit bars, which are just two ingredients. All the time it's just apple and one other ingredient, such as coconut or here we have pineapple. So we have all of these so I can put them on my ice cream or just to snack on. And here we also have some coconut water. Once we open that, I put that in the fridge to keep it nice and cold. And that's actually my favorite brand. We got that from Whole Foods. It tastes exactly like the roasted coconuts from Thailand. And we also have some raisins. I actually bought for a recipe I'm going to try. And it's like a snack bar with dates and raisins. And and other than that, you can just snack on these. Same with dates. So that's with the first shell. And now we move on to the second shell. You can see it consists actually just out of two products. And that's just ginormous bag of organic brown basmati rice, which we got from Costco. And that huge bag is 10 pounds and we got that for $11. So that is such a big deal. We like to buy these kind of things in bulk because usually they're a lot cheaper then and they last a while. So whenever Evan feels like some rice, he could just scoop that in the rice cooker and he has a good meal. And other than that, he really loves his sweet potatoes. These are red from the outside, but white from the inside and they're organic. And he loves to buy them in bulk. He likes to snack on them or just have them as a meal with some steamed vegetables. And yeah, that's mainly his bulk of his diet, I'd say. Like some rice, but mainly potatoes and sweet potatoes. So the next thing on the third shell, we are moving a bit more down here, are some nuts and seeds. And here we have some chia seeds. 
treats which are really healthy for you so Evan likes to sprinkle them on his oatmeal and they're really good on ice cream as well and we also have a big bag of organic golden flax seeds these ones are actually grounded it's already a powder and he likes to use that in his oatmeal it gives a nice nutty flavor and I would call these two condiments kind of like a superfood which you can just add to your food to give a more health benefit same with these walnuts he likes to use walnuts in his oatmeal and also to snack on to get some a little bit of an energy boost and he also has a few of these hazelnuts left and these are actually Evan's oats and he almost ran out he stores them in this container here so that's very easier to like get out with this like scoop thing and he bought them from Aldi and a big bag were just two dollars which is such a good deal and they last a while so he has oatmeal almost every single day so that's with that and then we move on to actually more potatoes here we have another variety of the sweet potatoes these are honey potatoes you would suggest buying sweet potatoes and potatoes organic actually because why would you suggest buying them organic Well, he would suggest buying them organic because they don't have non-organic so he just bake them in the oven and yeah have a nice meal and here are some more of these Japanese sweet potatoes they're red from the outside but white from the inside and they're actually called yaki emo and another thing is this ginormous onion Evan likes to steam up his onion to eat it with his potatoes and some vegetables and on the last show we have our little banana stash here as you can see they're already ripening up we can freeze them soon I like to use them in my banana ice cream but you can also use them in smoothies. I love the smell of ripe bananas. Oh another thing I almost forgot are these potatoes. These are rusted potatoes and that's a five pound bag Evan got for just three dollars which is such a good deal and they last a while. Evan likes to use them for mashed potatoes or just steamed up potatoes with some vegetables. Yeah that's basically it was everything we have in our cupboard. Now we move on to our pantry shelf where we have all our spices. So we actually have a really small selection of spices here. We like to eat our food kind of plain, I'd say. We have a few condiments we like to use. In terms of spices, we don't use as much, but we have a few right here. So for example, that is like an all spice and likes to use them on his potatoes. All of these are salt free. But Evan likes to use a little bit of salt on his food sometimes so we have that here extra that's pink chameleon sea salt this Italian seasoning which is really nice that's like basil and rosemary and also cinnamon of course you need to have cinnamon because cinnamon on oatmeal or banana ice cream is just freaking amazing same with this vanilla I love to use that in my nice cream it gives it such a nice sweet taste and this is a non-alcoholic one because yeah I don't like to have alcohol in my food to the savory things we have garlic powder also red pepper flakes to give it some spice and then caraway seeds Evan really likes them on his potatoes I don't really like the taste of them they remind me of sauerkraut you use them in sauerkraut that's probably why and we have some organic ginger powder i like to use in my pad thai dressing and asian inspired dressing same with cumin cumin is just really amazing especially like in mango salsa for example or in hummus then we have carrot powder which we like to use in our nice cream and we have some curry powder here as well all salt free an indian inspired curry and i like to eat that on avocado actually that's it for our cupboard and then we move on to our vegan fridge our little fruit bowl on the side we have fruit almost everywhere in the kitchen i'd say like spread out because i eat a lot of fruit so we have these beautiful mangoes that's a lemon meringue all organic and also this lemon zest and also just a normal old tofu mango and more spotty ripe bananas and some corn and this huge ass watermelon usually get them for four to five dollars in costco they're really big and you can have a few meals of these and i love to have watermelon in the morning nice sweet and juicy so now we move on to our vegan fridge everything in our fridge is completely vegan it's all fruits and vegetables and yeah that's just how we eat 
So we have some cherry tomatoes here and also some cherries we just bought today. I'm so excited to have cherries again. These are two pounds and we paid five dollars, which is still quite expensive, but such a good deal here. But they're good to snack on. Same with these grapes. We have black grapes here and green grapes. And there were usually two to 250 a pound. And we have more mangoes and half an avocado in this Ziploc bag. And I have my dates. I really, really love dates to eat them as a dessert or just as a snack. And I got this huge, big ass box from Costco it's two pounds for just nine dollars and they last me a while and here are my greens these are actually three heads of romaine lettuce I like to eat lettuce for dinner I make big salads or just lettuce cups where I scoop my salsa in so a bulk of my diet is definitely fresh greens and yeah I just love greens I have different types of greens as well sometimes I have green leaf lettuce and also iceberg lettuce or butterhead and this time it's romaine Lettuce. One head was just one dollar, so that is such a good deal. I stocked up on three big heads of lettuce. So we kind of like mix it up with the fruit and veggies. There are fruit in here, but also vegetables. And on the first straw, we have tomatoes. I store all my tomatoes here. I love to have fresh tomatoes in my salads at night and Evan as well. Tomatoes are probably one of my favorite non-sweet fruit. That's what, how you call them, that's right. And the next thing on our first shelf are cucumbers. I love to julienne peel them in my salads. And these big ass zucchini we got today. Like look at the size of these, they're ginormous. Also carrots, I love to munch on carrots with some tahini or just chop them up in my salad or even steams them up to have them as a vegetable. Or some broccoli which is there in the bag and also some cucumbers so we have a lot of greens a lot of green vegetables because yeah they're really healthy and we really like to eat these so the last shell excuse the plastic but they sell these things in plastic bags you can't you can't avoid getting them i'm gonna make a separate video about zero waste and using plastic bags and all of this so stay tuned for that but here i have these small sweet bell peppers i really love to chop up in my salad and this whole bag was just one dollar and I've been eating on these for quite a few days now it's been like three or four days and this, this bag is not getting empty that was such a good deal so we're almost done but we move on to my almost favorite part which is condiments we have a few vegan condiments here in the fridge I like to show you but I'm gonna make a separate video on all my favorite condiments soon so stay tuned for that as well but just to give you a quick rundown we have organic raw agave here which we like to use same with the maple syrup on ice cream or just on oatmeal and then of course chalk shot who can live without chalk shot <laughs> and also here we have liquid aminos I really love to use that in my salad dressing it doesn't have any salt in it but it gives this nice and salty flavor and this is just another salsa he actually ate in our mukbang and he just scoops that on rice and eats that with some vegetables for example and some cut off lettuce and then he has a nice meal here we have organic ketchup and some sriracha and we also have here peanut butter of course peanut butter is just a essential we like to eat that as a dessert on our ice cream for example when this craving for ben and jerry comes up or mustard don't get me wrong, I'm not a fan of mustard, so we just move on really quickly. Evan Evan likes that stuff. I don't I don't know what he sees in that. My last favorite tahini. I can rave about tahini for a while, guys. I love that stuff so much. I pull that I could pull that on everything. Like I use that in my dressing. I like to eat that with my carrots. It's really addicting on bananas as well. And then we have a selection of limes here and also some hummus. That's actually our favorite flavor. It's with sundry tomatoes and it's all oil free. It has a little bit of salt in it, but I like to enjoy that as a dressing, for example, on my salad or you just dip your vegetables in it. And talking about my salad, I have some dill in here as well, which is really nice. Fresh dill on salad is just amazing. Same with nutritional yeast. We also have some organic shredded coconut here, which I like to use on my ice cream as well. It's unsweetened, but it gives this nice crunchy taste and my last item is actually this 
almond milk. There are a bunch of different plant-based milks out there. Evan likes almond milk. You can also get oat milk or hazelnut milk or hemp milk. This one is unsweetened but with a hint of vanilla and he actually likes to use that in his mashed potatoes or just in his oatmeal. So guys, that's actually it. Everything we have in our pantry, in our cupboard, and in our fridge. Everything is completely vegan. Really high in fruits and vegetables and also starches. That's just how we like to eat. And as I said, we eat a whole foods, plant-based diet and we really like it. And we buy a lot of things in bulk to save money and also to have everything on hand. I hope this is kind of helpful for you guys and that shows you that eating a vegan diet is really easy you just have to stock up sometimes if you don't want to run to the store every single day and also to save money and it's really nutritious it's really delicious overall i really love it i really enjoy it, it makes me fit and healthy and yeah i just love the way i eat and i'm going to continue doing that i hope you enjoyed that video guys subscribe to my channels to see more videos from me and to stay updated with my 30 video challenge follow me on all my social media platforms i'm going to link down below I like to stay in touch with you guys. I love that. Eat some good fruits and vegetables and some healthy vegan meals. And I see you in my next video, guys. Bye.